I put a picture of an ox or a wild bull because the moon will be in Tullus uh, on the 31st of July of this year. I was surprised to to learn that Tullus, the constellation of Tullus, equals world history prior to the Great Tribulation. Taurus is represented by the tribe of Joseph. Joseph on the breastplate was represented by the gemstone of Beryl. Beryl uh, could, have, could have easily being a yellow stone. We have seen the burial storm across USA and very recently Yellowstone. It seems to wake up. We say also that Taurus is the invincible ruler to come. And also we see of Taurus the coming of the judge. If you want to go on, on the internet, I have found a very, very explicit um, analysis, biblical analysis of Taurus. You have the, the title here, The Times of the Gentiles. So God is like the sun, Jesus is like the sun, and the church is like the moon. In, in Psalm 84, 11, we have, For the Lord God is a sun, S-U-N, and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. On the 31st of July, the, the sun will be in the Cab constellation, or Cancer. You have the picture on Stellarium. The Crab constellation represents heaven, our heavenly security. Taurus has a triangle in the middle there are two horns. One at the one is right and the other is left. They are uh, directed west. The two horn touches the Milky Way, the galactic equators, and the ecliptic of the sun pass through those two horns. The right horn which has at the tip uh, the star El Nat or Be Be Beta Tau. This right horn represents the Gentiles who are saved in Jesus Christ. The left horn, the lower one, represents the Gentiles who are not saved. The star El Nat or called Beta Tauri is part of another constellation called Origa. Origa represent a shepherd with uh, a goat, female goat in his uh, lap and two baby goats. And that is called wounded or slain and resurrection of the saints. The triangle in Taurus is called Hyades. And it, Hyades is at a distance of 153 light years from us. Is there a correlation with the 153 fish we find in the Gospel? And that star is 700 more lightful than, than the sun. May these rest on the head of Joseph on the, pe uh, on the 
pate of M, with prince among his brothers, a firstborn, firstborn bull, he hath majesty, and his horns are the horn of a wild ox. With them he shall gore the peoples, all of them, to the to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousand of Ephraim, and they are the thousand of Manasseh. Beryl is a gray, green, gray stone. I, I think it can be other color. It was link, linking up the color of the sea. The Hebrew word for Beryl is Shosham. It is believed this gemstone represented the tribe of Joseph. I decided to find a picture of a yellow beryl and I also tried to find the color of the gemstone on the breastplate of the high priest. There's a confusion uh, between onyx and beryl. Uh, I couldn't found uh, the difference. To purify himself, the high priest has to offer the sacrifice of a bull, nothing else. It was called a burnt offering. On the 31st of July, you can see the moon exactly over the, the star Beta Tori or um, El Nat, and uh, if El Nat represent the resurrection, resurrection of the saints, and the moon represent the church, we have a serious sign in the stars. Remember also at the same time the sun is in the crab constellation, which is our heavenly security. I forgot to tell that um, the El Nata star is in the Milky Way. A Milky Way, the Milky Way represents holy angel and the, the saints of God in heaven. Since Taurus represent world history prior to the Great Tribulation, there are history in Taurus for each star. So the first star is Otau, Exile of the Jew, uh, first in Pleiad Electra, Church Age, first in Hyades, White Tau, Ten Nation Confederacy, Al Debaran, Alpha Tau, one world government, tip of the right arm, Beta Tori or El Nat, rapture of the saints, tip of the left horn, Antichrist revealed, and of Torah's sign, great tribulation begins. Beta Tau personally reminds me of the letter Bet, which is the second letter of alphabet, Hebrew alphabet, which represents Jesus, which represents Ba or Ben, which means the sun, and Tau represents the cross. So Beta Tau for me is Jesus from the beginning to the end. And remember that Beta Tau or El Nat is the wounded heel of uh, the shepherd, and uh, Beta Tau El Nat is the resurrection, means the resur resurrection of the saints. I put a picture of Origa constellation, which represents a shepherd not with sheep on his lap, but with goat. The goat represents the Israelite with stiff neck. So there's a mother goat with the two cubs. And um, 
and that is uh, the wounded heel of the shepherd, which is Jesus. I took a, a close-up of El Nat and the Moon on the 31st of July. And uh, El Nat is a very nice star, 700 times more light full than the sun. Seven number? Beta Tauri, second brightest star in the constellation of Taurus. It has the official name of El Nat. So, uh, it's hard to see, but I've found um, a picture of all the Mazarot that describe the story of redemption in the Bible. What we have to remember is that on the 31st of July, 31st of July, there will be the sun in our heavenly security, the crab. And the sun is Jesus, Jesus God, and the moon, which represents the the church, will be uh, crossing Taurus and uh, finish its course uh, across uh, over El Nat uh, Star, which is Resurrection of the Saint. So the crossing of the moon to Taurus, which represent judgment and uh, world history prior to great tribulation is very very important forgive my french forgive my difficulty of pronunciation i have worked very hard uh, i i, I discipline myself to really do a, a very very thorough uh, uh, video because uh, when I I checked those signs, uh, I was very surprised uh, to have found uh, lots of indication. Hope that uh, I can bless other watchers and uh, may the Lord be with you and Maranatha, glory to Jesus.